Willkommen. Ich spreche kein Deutsch, aber ich habe eine Frage. Ist alles gut? Ja, alles gut. Okay. Um, I want to start again. Uh, so the session will be in English because I don't speak German. A uh, few words. Uh, I get it thanks to Dutch, but uh, not not well enough to make a presentation. So the session is in English, and it's about customizing the smart search uh, result page with CSS or even with an override if you need more. But you can already do a lot with uh, only with a few CSS rules. Um, so my name is Mark, coming from Brussels, Belgium, and uh, I love Joomla and. <laughs> With time, I've made quite many presentations in the Joomla realm, um, and thanks to COVID, uh, really everywhere in the world, before it was just like my region and my local jug. Um, and if you want to have the, all the other presentations I made, I've spoken a lot about custom fees, because this is like my favorite thing. Um, I'm a big fan. So there are many presentations that I made about custom fees or other topics also like Cassiopeia. Cassiopeia. Uh, so you just go to my website, which is slides.worldweb.be. Maybe I should type it here. Slides.worldweb.be. There you have the full list of presentation. But for today's session, um, well, I'll start with the beginning. Um, so the goal of this session is to see how to customize a smart search result page um, because when you make a search in Joomla, maybe I should also zoom, no, I won't zoom otherwise maybe it will break the style. If I, if I make a search in Joomla, it gives something like that, right? Uh, looking similar to a Google search, let's say that. So it, it's something, the smart search is powerful, but it's not very sexy. You, sometimes you want something more than that. Um, and at the end of the session, instead of having this, we will have something like that. A grid, so a block view, and we will also change the order of the elements. We will also uh, add the image, add custom fields, even for the rendering of our custom field with a given alternate layout if we want. So you can really go far and customize the smart search just like you would customize a blog view, uh, actually. So um, we are now running, all running hopefully Joomla 4.2, um, but there were several new features coming with Joomla 4.1. So task scheduler, child templates, etc. Um, but also one big change which came, and I mentioned it now afterwards, I won't repeat every time the same, the same story, but there is one big change coming with the child templates is that some folders have changed between Joomla 4 and Joomla 4.1. Um, so before you used to have uh, everything in the folder of template slash Cassiopeia, and since Joomla 4.1, so also for 4.2, obviously, now, like your CSS files and everything, have moved uh, to a more logical folder, because you're not supposed to put uh, your, your CSS and images and, and everything in, 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 in the template folder, actually. So it has moved to media template site Cassiopeia, or the name of your template. Um, so that's one thing for where we will change our CSS. Uh, if you still have an old version, it's, it's, um, it's good to know. Um, but there were also other more discrete features besides those big features of Joomla 4.1. Uh, Sakis, which made a presentation yesterday, uh, added a little option in the smart search. So like here, it's really sad, not even an image. I'm not speaking of styling, but not even the image of the article. Uh, so since Joomla 4.1, you have a new option, maybe you did not notice. If you go to the smart search and choose any, any uh, sub uh, menu, 
Um, you click on options, or you could first go to global configuration and then uh, see smart search. You arrive on, on the same page. And there, there is a new option, like in Joomla, you have many options, and one is about image, result image, hide or show. So let's enable this, I save, and I go back to the website, I refresh. Whoa, that's already better. Um, I have my intro image for, uh, or full image, I don't remember now, uh, for each article. So. It's better, but like if the if my image was vertical, yeah, the layout would be a bit strange because it would take too much space. So we would improve on that. But um, now this is in core to add an image, you can do it very easily. Um, now to go one step beyond, um, actually there is more than this little switch result image show because. When you enable that, you have two extra fields here, image class and linked image. So image class, uh, okay, normally there should be nothing, it's because I prepared the session. So now if I put there, for example, float start, float starts means like in the good old days, float left, but it's more universal because we do write like in Europe from left to right, but for right to left, left, left people, uh, it would start on, on, on the right. So it's it's like uh, the, the good old left, but more universal float start. If I save that and refresh. Okay, it's already nicer. Um, the only thing is that the image is a bit too big. So with a line of CSS, I could say um, I, will re I will put a maximum width. We will do it later, but uh, maybe I'm happy with this, but not always because, for example, here I'm quite lucky that I have um, similar lengths for everything, but if my image was bigger or if my text was shorter, I will just do it live. I will like de I delete my text, right? If I if I had a shorter intro text, um, yeah. Float, float start is nice, but it, it would have such side effects that bigger images would overlap the next result, which is not what we want. So if we want a solution to that, then we just need to add one CSS rule um, to improve on that. And so this is how, as I mentioned, uh, we can create in Cassiopeia a user.css file. So this is in... Um, in which folder so okay as as I said it is in the media folder since Joomla 4.1 media template site Cassiopeia and actually here I created a child template so there is a topic a session about child templates I think by Viviana later today uh, so I won't explain a, a child templates but uh, you can do it with the parent classical Cassiopeia but you can also create a child template, which is better because you have a better view. You only have the few files you have modified, added, or whatever. And there we create a file called user.css. Um, let's go and see that file. Okay. Here I've prepared a session, so I've already put plenty of rules, but they are all in green, so all disabled for now. So um, for this issue that when you have a bigger image, it overlaps. Um, the solution is simply to add a few lines that I mentioned in the in the presentation. So you just copy paste that, and if I refresh now, yeah, it's nice. Even if I now delete my text just to show that, yeah, now. Even if my image is bigger than the content, uh, it, it looks nicely. But then we want to go one step further. Um, oh yeah, something interesting. Um, this is a website on which I'm working. It's not in production yet, but it's just to show. 
exactly based on this little example. Uh, if I make a search, yeah, here it is. So it's exactly the same, but I've put a maximum width on the image, so it's nicer. But the thing is, maybe the original image is more than 1,000 pixels wide, and there is a nice free plugin that you can use, which will resize all the images automatically uh, according to breakpoint, so you have really physically responsive images. They are not just visually resized. Uh, it generates uh, the WebP version, the AVIF version, uh, all breakpoints, all the different sizes that you, that you can define. And this little free plugin is made by Dimitris Grammatico Janis. So I give the link here. And for any image, without you do anything, for all the intro image, for all the images inside your content, for even for the images of the smart search, which was not there at first, but he added uh, after a discussion. So all your images on the website, instead of having this syntax, the classical syntax, it will be changed by something like that. So for performance, just by installing this little plugin, uh, you really increase performance on, on your website, especially if people are on smartphone or whatever. Um, one thing we can also do in, in, with a smart search is change the order. So where do I change the order? Actually, I don't think we know. There is nothing about order in the options of smart search right to do that where we where do we have to go we have to go to the menu item calling the smart search so here i have a search menu item if i click on it it will go better um, and on the advanced tab you have two fields sort a sort field and a sort direction so like in my case, um, because for example, I don't know, it is about concerts or it is about something else, I want alphabetical order and not relevance for some reason. Okay, I can choose that I, I want to order by title. And for example, I could say title descending just to show the difference. Now if I go back to the site, I had article one, article two, article three. If I refresh, okay, it works. It has uh, reverted my, my order. So you can choose the sorting um, that you want. And it's very funny. I mention it and I give more explanation in the, in, in, in the slides. You can choose relevance, title, date. Also, list price. I don't know where it comes from. Where, where it comes from. Or now I know because I, I explain it. I asked the question, so some people were kind of, oh, I lost that. Um, so there is a whole explanation. It has been there since the Joomla 2.5 days, and nobody wanted or still wants to remove it. Uh, but OK, there is still a list price um, something. So if, if somebody wants to remove it from Joomla, I think it would not hurt anyone. Um, in the front end, uh, Sakis is not here now, um, but I had a question for him because actually he had prepared um, what I've just done here, here from the back end. Maybe it would be interesting to let the user choose how, how she or he wants to sort um, to change my default setting. So Sakis has also added this uh, new feature. So in the front end, you would have, if you enable it, the drop down allowing to choose order by title, by relevance, or ascending, descending, and everything. So I give the link to the pull request. Have a look at that. Uh, but I don't think it has been merged yet. Um, so, uh, but it's coming. I guess it will be for four, for Joomla four point three. Um, it is the example I've just given. Um, so this was um, an easy way to change the layout of my smart search just by playing with a 
a few lines of CSS. Of course, you can also do it with plain classical overrides. Um, the thing about overrides is that actually when, when, when you use the search, um, like for my own website, most of the time what I want are articles. But in theory or in practice, uh, the smart search fetches more than pure articles. Uh, you can have categories, contacts, news feeds, web links, if you still have the component on your website, and also any other ex third party extension which would integrate. So actually here it was looking nice because I only have articles, but you have to bear in mind if you have different types of results, coming out that you should also customize not only articles, but maybe other things. And in the good old Joomla three days, um, actually back then I was never using the smart search. Uh, and when you were using the classical search, one day I had asked a question because I'm a custom field fan. I said, oh, I would like to add a custom field uh, on that. And I think it's George Wilson who said, Mark, the reason why you can't do that in ComSearch, the classical search, is that it fetches not only articles, but other types of things. But you, if you have a custom field for articles, you don't have that the same custom field for web link or whatever. So that's why it is very simple title, intro text and, 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 and a link, and that's it. So I was conditioned by, by this chat like five, five years ago or more, uh, thinking, okay, in the search, you are stuck, you cannot customize. And it's only recently, after a discussion with Sakis, that I realized that actually, uh, since Smart Search, so even the, with the Smart Search of Joomla 3, you can, you can override the, the generic uh, file which gives the title and the link for any type of content. But um, actually, you can also say, now I take the result file, PHP file, but I rename it, I rename it result article. And if I do that, my override will only pertain, will only be triggered for articles. So this way, actually, I can make I can really customize for each type of content, con contact, articles, web links, whatever, uh, DB calendar, uh, whatever. I can really customize how it will look on, um, on the smart search result page. Um, so, um, I'm taking some advance here, right. Um, here, let's see before playing the real override, because actually you would think, oh yes, here it's easy, it only adds a few lines of CSS, it is nicer, but you think maybe if I want a block view, a grid, you think maybe that we will need an override. Actually, no, because CSS, and especially CSS grid, which is Heavily, maybe a few years ago, you could say, I, I, I don't dare to use CSS grid on production side because not everybody has a recent browser and it's too new and blah, blah, blah. But anyway, CSS grid is heavily used in Joomla 4. So if you have a Joomla 4 website, it already uses CSS grid. Um, so let's enjoy it and let's use it um, one step further. Um, so let's take this. Um, example now I just go back to my CSS file um, this is the right file yep yeah. um, so I disable here what I had done because now what we want is to have a grid so I, you, you, you just copy paste the code that I put uh, that's what I did here but I took I did in advance. So now if I do this and I refresh, oh no, it's not yet, it's not yet that, oh no, 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 okay. That was something else. 
this is a first use of of the grid because even if i keep this um line row by row line by line uh design maybe i want to place the elements uh, in a different way um or change the order or whatever so actually with css grid like in this case this will not become a special session about css grid but you can for example design different areas and say okay i want two columns and i want three rows so on the left i want the image which will take the three rows and on the right i want first uh, the title then the description then the taxonomy or choose another order so actually even if you keep this row design for your smart result page you could say oh no i want to move everything around without doing any php just with css grid right so this is a little example uh, that you can use to uh, to improve on this and and, and change um, the organization of the row but uh, once you've done that now i disable this to enable the next one um, if i want to grid then i just save just a few lines of CSS and now I, I have something quite similar to a blog view which is much nicer for for a result page in, in, in my eyes maybe not for all websites but for many websites it will be more sexy like that right and then you can also improve on that because um, for example something which is not nice let's say that I want to show the taxonomy like like it is by default so the taxonomy is the lit the last line saying type article author category language blah 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 um, so you can choose what you want to display there but um, here it's not displaying nicely so i could say okay let's add a few more lines um, you could say result image order minus one this which do this, this would change the order of the elements if I want to do it quickly and also with a few more lines of CSS I can say hey um, actually I would like to push the taxonomy at the bottom of each box it would be nicer so just a few lines of CSS if you don't understand them it's uh, no bad you just copy paste it's good enough now if I refresh okay it looks even even better so so far no PHP um, and we are already happy now since I'm a big custom field fan my next question was oh can we add custom fields but to do that we need to go to the PHP we need to make the override uh, because the custom fees are not called by default they are not available um so how do we do this let's go back to the presentation we are a bit further here okay so how do we make an override actually uh, the php file which generates the rendering for each item in the results whatever their type um, article contact whatever is the following file in component confinder template search and the file is default underscore result.php so actually if you just take that file and you copy it you make an, yeah, an override in your template so like for any override is in the html folder then confinder search and so you you copy paste that file but you could leave the same name then anything you do would apply to all the types of results but if you give the name if you change the name and say it's not default result but it's for default article then what i do in that file will only be triggered for articles which is what i want because my custom fields are for articles right um, so and your template can be any template uh, parent template child template uh, 
it works fine. Um, there is also a long version on uh, Saki's uh, blog with more screenshots if you if, if you want to go to to go further. But so how how do we add the custom fields actually in that file? Let's go to that file. I've cheated because I already pasted it. Uh, normally you have normally you have this right. The first real line is define uh, jxx or die. Like some have t-shirts with this line of code on at the back. Uh, so we need to say to that file to fetch the custom fields. Otherwise, you cannot display them. So for this, I just add three lines, and they are uh, explained. So I say, okay, use blah blah blah. Use the field helper. Good, and then. I, I use a variable, my custom fields, name it as you wish, but my custom fields, and I'm getting the fields for the articles, right? And because I want to use them by ID, it will be easier. Um, I make a little pivot so that afterwards I can say I want custom field with ID 10. Um, so only three lines to put at the beginning of the override, and then Anywhere in the rendering where I want to display the custom field, I would just add one line. This line says echo, so display. Display what? Display my custom fields by ID. And I put between the brackets the number, the ID of the custom field I want. And let's say to start with that I want the row value, right? So if I do that, and where will I put this? well, at the right place in the file. So actually, to make it simple, the result starts, each result is, a, is an element of a list, right? An, an ordered list. So actually, you look for the li HTML uh, syntax in the file. So a bit further in the file, we have here, oh yeah, here, the the element for our given result, and so here I have already prepared. This is the one line I'm adding, so now I'm uncommenting it so that it is enabled. Echo my custom field number 10, and I want the row value. So the row value is the value as written in the database. Um, and I go back to the site and I refresh, and now what I have is a new a new thing here and it is a link why is it a link because actually if i i should have shown you before my custom field number 10 mm, it is a custom field of type uh url right and let's take one of the articles to show it in practice uh, article one has a custom field uh, for external URL, yeah, for a LinkedIn link or whatever. So this is why here we see for the three articles, links mentioned. Good, but like in this case, what I want is maybe not the row value. Maybe I want it rendered like Joomla does in the articles. Like if it's a YouTube, you put the YouTube link. But what you want is not the text, you want the video. So same for any type of custom field. For the link, you want a real button with a link or something like that. So actually, um, normally, um, normally when you are overriding an article view, well, you just change row value by value and you get the rendered values. You get the YouTube player, for example instead of the uh, of the text. But here, if you do it, now, well, if you do row value or value, you get the row value. So actually, um, this is because when you're overriding articles or blog views, well, everything is made ready for you to use the value, but here not. Still, you can do it. You just have to adapt slightly your line. So instead of just writing echo, my custom feeds 10 row value, 
you will have to call the fields helper to say, hey, I want you to render. I want, I want the YouTube player. Um, so I want you to render my field, custom field 10. And if you put that line, um, so now I disable again what I had done, the row value. But if I enable the next one, I save, I refresh. Uh, I, I should refresh the website. OK, now it is really rendered. Like in the custom field, I've said, do you want to display the label? The label, yes or no? What label do you want? Uh, and you can type it. And you can add a class. And you can choose your parameters for the video. Do you want to change the color or whatever? So here, all those parameters are taken into account now. So maybe I should do a bit of styling because it's a button and uh, it's not very accessible when I hover it, right? So it's that's just a line of CSS to improve the styling. But now I have the rendering of, of my custom field. For a link, maybe it was no big deal. But for example, I have another custom field, which is um, a custom field. Let's save this. Uh, which is a custom field of type subform. So it is a custom field which can contain other custom fields. And this was for another session about custom fields of type subform. Obviously, when I wanted to create a carousel, so I had said, okay, let's say let's take a custom field of type subform that I call carousel, and inside I want to put a title, which is a text. A duration, which is an integer, um, a slide image, which is an image, and and maybe even a link. Okay, for example. Um, so actually, with this, with core Joomla, um, and no, so no extension to put a slider. With just a custom field, you can have a slideshow. Now, if I refresh here my article. I also display custom field four, so my carousel. So yeah, I have I have my working carousel. Wait, I've put the same images because I was lazy for the three articles, right? But um, I, I have a carousel for each article now. So I can really build anything. I was saying a YouTube player that's a ready to use custom field, but you can even build your own thing. But how did I make the override of the custom field, my own alternate layout, to have uh, a carousel? That's another session you can see in the list, and you have all the details. To, so the code, the code is ready. I just went to Bootstrap, and I saw in Bootstrap what is the code for a carousel. And I said, OK, I'll just uh, inject my custom field values everywhere where I need, and that makes a carousel. So you can really put anything now in your we are, we are not in a blog view, right? We are still in the smart search here. So you can really do whatever you want. The only thing is that if you want to add custom fields, you need an override. For the rest, you can do almost everything with CSS. Uh, yeah. Um, what if you are doing a smart search for full text, and you also want to format uh, the, the link like you now did? Uh, yeah. Would you, uh, is there something in uh, a contact that you would use, or, or can you also use uh, the file that you are now using in your code for uh, content. If you, if you go to the code, please. If I go to the to, to your code. Yeah. To the so you say uh, a fields helper render com content dot article field render. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you are using uh, smart search for other components, would you also use com content article to do the render stuff, or would you? Com contact. Yeah, it would probably be com contact. But yeah, but actually, I've never I've I've played a lot with custom fields, but always for articles. So uh, I've never had the experience of using for con com contact or yeah. And so actually, like in this case, um, you can even go one step further. Is that uh, for more advanced users? You could say, oh, yes, but actually, um, I don't want the rendering defined in the custom field itself. You could say, OK, for the articles, the real articles, 
it is rendered like this, but maybe I want something different, a different rendering of the custom feed for the smart search. Well, I could make a not in it layout for the custom fields and here and call it uh, London, for example. So here in the code, it was field render takes the default rendering. And if I want to force, if I've made an alternate layout called London and I replace field uh, here by field London, then I can even force which alternate layout I want to get, right? So you can really go, it could be that on the article, I don't have the slideshow, but I just display the image. Okay, why not? And on the smart search, I, I would have a different rendering. Um, also, maybe something that could puzzle some people, like, uh, yeah, on some websites, I would find it annoying that here the intro text is trimmed, right? So it's not the full intro text. At some, after, I don't know, 200 characters or so, it says dot, 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 and maybe you want something else to have the full intro text or the full text, whatever. So actually in this file, you can also change that. I show it in the presentation. But there was the option in the smart search, you limited it to 255. Yeah, but I could say 300. But maybe what I want is intro text and not a number. Um, so yeah. You could raise it to 10,000 and then it would be the complete intro text, no? Yeah, or maybe you want the full text and not just yeah, the intro text, yeah. but okay, depending. So in this file, PHP file where we are playing, somewhere there is echo description. And if you want to have uh, like here the full text, you would just replace yeah. that by echo this result summary. And how, how did I discover that? It's because if you're wondering, oh, and could I get, I don't know, the tags or this or that, um, or the published date or the unpublished date or whatever field from the articles, if you're not sure how to call it, here I'm telling you if you want, if you want if you want the full text, it is result summary, but you could put this line somewhere. Uh, let's copy, let's go, and um, it will be a bit long because it will render like everything um, which is available. So now if I refresh. Okay, now I refresh. It's, it's not for production, right? It's just for me to know what is available. So one line to copy paste, and there you see, oh, okay, if I want the alias, it is just called alias. Uh, and, and you can adapt this little line of code to, to fetch whatever you want from the article, right? Um, or even the list price, which is men <laughs> mentioned here. So. <laughs> Yeah, and say price, yeah. Maybe there's just one person in the world who is using this price. Yeah. Yeah, but it must be coming from somewhere. It must come from somewhere, but I think that nobody wanted, I think that nobody wanted to remove it, just in case somebody would have price. used that because it was available to do something else and then it would break, but okay. The same price is there. That, that's another topic. Um, yeah. yeah. But it's like it comes from some kind of rudimentary shopping system. Yeah. Uh, but my point is, I, I don't mind about the back end because I'm the only one who will change the option and who will see that in the back end. But when Saki's uh, pull request to have the filtering option in the front end will be merged, then visitors would see sort by, uh, and there it would be annoying. Yeah. So. Just go to the pull request. If you have meanings, opinions on that, yeah. share it and, and, and let's improve that. Um, then, oh, sorry. I think that it's, it's a result from com underscore banner. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Oh. It's old fashioned banners. You put your yeah. defined prices, so the most important customer is in, in front. Oh, maybe, yeah. I think this That's a good point. Knows. So maybe, uh, so I repeat for the mic, maybe it comes from Combanner uh, from the days. Um, 
And now, this is not the topic of today because Sakis made a session about this tool, but um, for some websites, I want to customize the smart search like, like here, but I don't need filtering. But if you think, oh, now that I can customize it, what I would want next is a filtering solution. Sakis made a session about his own um, extension J called J filters. So in the replay you, of the Joomla day, uh, you, you, will, um, you will see it if you could not be there yesterday. So then you can really, here we have played with the smart search and his filter tool uses the smart search result page. So actually, if you want to add filters on categories, on tags, on custom fields, and you choose whether you want um, checkbox, radio buttons, uh, one choice, several choices, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so there are many options and that's a good way to introduce search uh, and, and filtering, sorry, on, on your website. Um, and he also has, a, has released uh, a, a few articles on, on, on his blog uh, about this. So smart search is great. I will be even happier when, because I was not even aware that smart search was not um, fetching the values of the custom fields. It was about to be merged for Joomla 4.2, I think, but uh, it has been postponed. Um, but so, smart search is great, but maybe you have even bigger needs than smart search. Then forget all of what I said today. Then there are also, I don't master those solutions, I just know they exist. So I, I give you the clue and then um, see for yourself if it's a, a good solution for you. There is Elasticsearch uh, and also uh, there is an, ext an extension, a Joomla extension allowing to couple with uh, Algolia. So maybe if you need something even more powerful than J filters, um, you you have that. So that's it for this session. Uh, thank you very much. Danke schön. Uh, and if you have any question, shoot. Well, um, sometimes I don't have info articles, so. Uh, what I mostly do is um, I do a check that the build work uh, for if the, the intro image is, is there. And if not, I just look load the logo of the website. Yeah, yeah. So you have the same logo everywhere. The, 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 yeah, or you could define the default image, default base image. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Yeah. Once you, it depends on what you want to do. You can already have a card view with only CSS. And yeah. if you're able, if you wish to go further, with an override, then you can start to play and say, oh, there is no intro image. I put another one and do whatever you like. Yeah. So, thank you. Nice, thank you.